produce efficient aerospace design by Sorlock products. Through Sorlock's product, we can design an aerodynamic model. For example, here we want to see how we can design and validate an UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. First, we are going to see Sorlock's 3D model or 3D CAD design of the unmanned aerial vehicle. So, this is the 2D sketch of the airfoil or the primary actuator. So, here this is the Sorlox window where we have a lot of menus and options for dedicated surface and sheet metals to draw. And this 2D sketch can be instantly converted to 3D model with future option where we can make this 2D model to a 3D by just clicking the options and we can also drag this option for our convenient length or the predefined length or we can directly add the length to it if we want the extrusion of the component from any particular section we can choose it from these options so with this option we can easily convert a 2d model to a 3d model So the intelligent of the SOLIDWORKS to modify the design efficiently and quickly had created a big impact on the development process. So through SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD we can simply and easily design a component and the initiative interface and shortcuts are very convenient and very user friendly for the designers we can reuse the projects the design model for the any further future projects also now we are going to see how to validate this aerospace model so this is the uav model here So the UAV must be more efficient in the aerodynamic design otherwise there will be a loss of energy due to wind rack force. So now we are going to see whether the airfoil structure is efficient to eliminate the wind drag force or not. For that analysis we are going to choose Sorlux flow simulation. That option can be chosen from the add-ins and we, here we have list of studies like Solox simulation and Solox cam and every product. Here we are going to choose Solox flow simulation and just click OK. Then we get a tab over the top flow simulation. Solox flow simulation is an it's an easy to understand and easy to apply option. Through wizard interface we can easily define whatever the conditions. So in this model, we get the computational domain region is this region. So for this region, we are going to blow the wind and find whether this aerodynamically efficient or not. So this is the flow trajectory and pressure losses of the model. We can also see the surface plot where what is the pressure on the model while the wind is flowing over the structure through Solox flow simulation we can study the wind flow around the design and we can post process the flow trajectory around the model the flow trajectory of the pressure on the design is has been shown and from the study we can conclude that the airfoil structure is perfectly aerodynamic and from the flow simulation we can understood the design is aerodynamically well structured but whatever the material we applied is it okay 
or not or whether the model can withstand the load or not that need to be analyzed and that can be analyzed through finite element analysis where SOLIDWORKS simulation comes in picture through the same process we're going to choose simulation here in the simulation we have a list of options here so through this list of options we can perform a dedicated study for the model now to validate whether the structure of the model and the self weight are all equally validated or perfectly designed or not for that we are going to choose static study in the static study we can import the CFD data whatever computational fluid dynamics study we are ran we can import the result file to the FEA process so that the wind load the distributed load will be accurately applied on the model so through this external low option load option we have the flow effects by clicking that flow option and dragging the files into it we get the flow result data here so with this option we can see what is the stress level on the model due to the wind so whether is there any stress concentrations or whether the structure can withstand the stress concentration or not can be seen here so through simulation through flow simulation we saw whether the structure is aerodynamically designed or not and we studied whether the product can withstand that kind of load according to the pressure so through SOLIDWORKS flow simulation we can easily find the stress concentrated area and we can easily validate it if we go for a prototype design it will take huge amount of time and cost where the product will get delayed so by doing this study we can validate for various changes on the existing design and we can deliver an innovative design with good product efficiency thank you